can, can you hear me? Yes, awesome. It's so strange because I can hear everybody on the other stages, so it's really weird. It looks like I'm in some kind of alternate reality kind of thing. Okay, so I'm Francesca Rosella, and I'm Chief Creative Director at Cute Circuit. At Cute Circuit, we design the future of fashion. We create garments embedded with micro technologies that can make the wearer do amazing things besides looking very beautiful, of course. And uh, some of the garments I'm gonna show you today are part of our different collections. We have three collections. One is a ready-to-wear collection, one is a haute couture collection, and then we have special projects. And basically what happens is that sometimes what we have in the special projects trickles down into the ready-to-wear collection. So it sort of goes through different stages of development. First, we come up with some crazy huge ideas, and then they very slowly become manufacturable and wearable for everyday life. So the first uh, product I'm gonna talk about is the Hug Shirt. And the Hug Shirt is the first product we made many years ago, and it won one of the best inventions of the year by Time Magazine. And basically, it's a T-shirt that lets you hug someone over distance. So imagine you're here in London and your best friend is in Tokyo and you want to send her a hug. You put on the hug shirt, you give yourself a squeeze and sensors in the fabric capture where you're touching, how strong and how long. And all this data goes Bluetooth into your wonderful phone and your friend in Tokyo is wearing the hug shirt 24 seven. Everybody's doing that, I'm sure. And she's gonna say, yes, I want to feel this hug. And her shirt is gonna get warm and vibrate in the same area that you touch on your shirt. So this is like a touch telecommunication over distance. So imagine what many different things you could do with it. And another garment that is also in the ready-to-wear collection is also a garment that can telecommunicate. This is the M dress and basically is a mobile phone dress. And we came up with this idea because I miss a huge amount of calls because my phone is deep buried at the bottom of my purse and I cannot reach it on time. So I start excavating and I'm like, ah, I cannot reach it and I miss the call. And then Ryan, my boyfriend, sitting there, he gets really frustrated. So he says, okay, we're going to design this mobile phone dress here. I'm going to be a much happier man. And basically you get the SIM card out of your phone you put it into the label of your dress and basically your dress at that point has your mobile number. So when your dress rings, as they do, you answer by lifting your hand to your ear. And basically we came up with a gestural interface to make this garment work because we didn't want to replicate the mobile phone. What we wanted to do was to create a new way of receiving and making calls without having to go crazy with the display on your arm and lots of buttons that looks really dorky. So basically you raise your hand and you answer so it doesn't look like you're crazy, like talking to yourself on the street. And then when you're talking, you say, oh yeah, bye, 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 I love you too, bye. And you do like this, and by releasing your hand down, it knows that you're closing the connection. So it's sort of like we're trying to bridge the gap between innovating and making something that is totally out there, but at the same time is very easy and intuitive to use. And the next slide, oh, the next slide is about the Galaxy dress. This is one dress that we made uh, almost like six years ago now and is in the Museum of Science and Industry in Chicago in the US and is there every single day. Like some friends went to this museum last week and they saw it and still works, yay! And basically it's a dress that is made with 24,000 LEDs and we designed it to celebrate the 75th anniversary of this museum and the thing that they wanted to do, they wanted to show different scenarios for different aspects of life. So they, want, they had the chef, that is designing food for NASA. And it was really lovely. It's like, yeah, I give you my business card and you can eat it. And they're like, hmm, thank you. And I ate it. And then he goes, yeah, and imagine it's 2,000 calories. And I was like, I like you much less now. I'm going to get so fat really fast. So that's something that he does for astronauts. Then we did this garment and we say, we want to show how the fabric of the future could be. Like what would happen if our fabrics could just keep changing color and uh, like we could just control them through our emotion. And so I show you a video of this dress so you can see like this is the first time we turned it on and it was two in the morning in the museum and we were so tired. <laughs> So this dress basically took us six months to make and we were embroidering it, embroidering all these LEDs on the fabric of this dress like for such a long time. At a certain point, even the museum curator 
came in and helped us because she's like, you know, we really have to start this exhibition, so I'll give you a little help here. And she was fantastic. She can even embroider, so I'm really happy about that. And then people looked at this dress in the museum and they say, yeah, but it's plugged into the mains because, I mean, you have to turn it on every day. So can you actually go around or a party and walk with it? So we did the second dress that is called the Aurora dress. And yes, you can take a walk with it. And she keeps walking. You can see the rest of the video on our website. But we have lots of fun because basically we create all these things and then just very slowly they start this trickling down aspect. And uh, like for me it's like very fun as a fashion designer that I started as a fashion designer. I always dreamt about having this fabric that would just keep changing color. So very slowly, like we started with these kind of garments and then we kept progressing to make it like smaller and smaller and smaller. So you'll see at the end of the presentation, we have like some really high resolution garments, but we had to go through many different iterations for this. And one thing that was very interesting is that wearable technology, when we first started 10 years ago, wasn't that popular. Like people would say, well, what are you going to do? Are you going to give me a car battery? And then I just have to go around with this horrible thing and a backpack on my back. And you're like, no, 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 it can be really pretty, but nobody really believed us. So after seeing our dress in the museum, this lady called us and she said, yeah, I'd like to have a dress for the Met Gala. And we're like, Yes, I think we can do that. So this is what she had to say about her dress. Thank you. Um, this is a company called Cute Circuit. They're from France. And um, I like, you know, things that light up. I love living in the future. I feel like when Blade Runner predicted the future, I'm living in it now, you know? Basically, Katie was fantastic to work with. Besides, she's really, really fun and she's as nice as she actually looks. Uh, we were like in our room in the hotel and we got ready with this dress. And um, we had the switch placed very elegantly here. On the waistline, there was like a little bow and we said, yeah, the switch is there. So you just turn it on and it's going to start glowing and it glows very slow. And Katie goes, no, 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 it has to glow much faster. It has to go, ding, ding. You're like, yeah, okay, we're going to change that. And she said, and then can you just move the switch here in between my decolletage? And we're like, yeah. So we were soldering on her bed, basically, moving the switch from one place to the other. But then when she got to the red carpet, she had so much fun. And we had so much fun just going with her and doing this. And after that, all of a sudden, Wearable technology wasn't just like something for crazy geek people, but it was just something really fashionable as well. And we got so many requests that we designed this other dress that is called the K dress. And it's basically the short version, like a little cocktail dress. And it's our bestseller in our ready to wear collection. So we did something that was just like an evening gown and one off. And then we make these little dresses that use the same materials, but at the same time, you can have it everywhere and every day. And um, the thing that is nice is that we mix high tech with traditional textiles. So the dress is made out of fabric, it's made out of silk, and we use one of the last two remaining pleaters in London. So there are these little old guys, and they have these pleat cardboard uh, molds that they have to pleat the fabric by hand in it, and then they have to steam it for an hour, and then it comes out and it's like 100% silk, but it's pleated and looks awesome. So it's sort of like we like to get in some like traditional elements, and then just go totally crazy with what they're doing and the interaction. And the next one, oh yeah, this is something else we did with Katie. And uh, this one is a cat suit that she wore on American Idol for ET. And the thing that was really cool about it is that we had to program all the lights to sort of go with the emotion of the different interesting parts of the song. So basically we had to listen to the song like hundreds of times, by the end we knew it by heart. So I'm even gonna sing it if you like. And um, so you can see what the result was.
So it was really fun to do this. And the challenge here was that we were trying to incorporate our lighting elements into this really stretched, super tight catsuit. And I think one of the most amazing comments was that when it was on the news the day after, everybody said, oh, but we couldn't see the battery packs. And for me, that was like just great because it really meant that we had worked out how all the system worked to make sure that the technology becomes invisible, except when it's creating amazing visual effects that are just really pleasing for the eye, that you don't have to think, oh, how does it work exactly? And the next one, oh, the next one. That's very interesting too. These are jackets that we did for you too, the Rockman, and usually, you might have noticed Bono always gets all the goodies. The other guys, they, they almost cry. They say, oh, no, nobody ever gives us anything. So this time, all the guys had jackets. And they had video jackets. So we were streaming video live to every jacket. And every jacket could have their individual video. Or all four guys could have the same video streaming in pieces on each of the jackets. So. And they went on tour in North America with these jackets. And it was very interesting. We had to watch the concert three or four times, and by the end, our ears were just absolutely blasted. Like, <laughs> I was almost deaf. <laughs> And the thing that was really, really amazing with these jackets is that they sort of went also with the set design. So I don't know if you saw the 360 tour. Um, the guys were in the middle of the stadium, and they sort of were like underneath a spaceship design. And this spaceship had a cone in the middle. And basically, the cone was a video screen that would go up and down on the center of the stage. So when they came up with these jackets, uh, they were about to play Zuropa after 20 years that they hadn't played the song. So for the first time after 20 years. And uh, they started lighting up in blue, but they were inside the cone. And the cone was also lighting up in blue and shooting down these blue beams of light. And then when it started lifting up, it looked like they had been beamed down to the planet, sort of like a spaceship enterprise, Star Trek kind of thing. And the whole stadium was like 60,000 people. They just went, whoa. And it was so amazing. I was like, oh, I was underneath the stage. I almost fainted. I was like, yes, that's awesome. It's this, you really want to be a rock star. You just want to design clothes for them because then people get so excited. <laughs> And this one is um, the, probably the, one of the largest stage costumes that we have designed. And it's a skirt that is four and a half meters long. And we designed it for Laura Pausini. She's an Italian singer. And she used it in her tour. And basically, she's sort of like emerging from one side of the stage. So it's sort of like very slowly she gets raised up on this swing set. And then she flies over the audience and lands in another part of the set. So this one was also very, very fun to design and make.
this was really fun because when she was like flying over, they had a projection of stars on the big video screens behind her. And so it looked like the stars were going through her dress and she was becoming sort of like a ectoplasma and like sort of a jellyfish and just floating in space. So I like the idea that we designed something that is part of a big picture that is sort of like allows it to sort of to merge with everything so that it creates a really strong emotional response in the audience. And this one is a really quick flash thing, but basically what happens is like sometimes you say, oh yeah, but you can make all these things and it's like, are they thick, are they thin, how are they? So we did this mask for a DJ and like he almost goes blind and he can blind the audience when it works. And it's a super, super thin, skin tight uh, mask and he wears it for a stage show. He's a DJ that sort of does like massive parties uh, in Australia and various parts of the world. And so it was like just, he really wanted to have something that would go with the music. So we designed this mask that could be controlled with MIDI signal. So he can play the keyboard while he's doing his concert and then his mask would react to whatever notes he's playing. So we sort of gave him, gave him something that is a, almost a musical instrument. Oh, and I'll show you something that is more on the ready to wear collection. And uh, maybe you've already seen it, but I'll show you the video again. This one is the t shirt dress. Basically, it's the t shirt that does everything you can think of. I don't know why we packed so many features in it, but it kind of looks cool. We're, we're dead! Oh, we're dead! No one's gonna want it. Are you ready? <coughs> Clients, uh, first of all, Hello. Uh, <laughs> um, uh, uh, suppose you're here to see the, um, and um, we're here to show you show the, uh, oh, okay then, may we present to you, teacher of the West. Outfit of the future. Have you been wearing it? <laughs> yes, of course we've been wearing it. <laughs> this thing's unbelievable. It just seemed like such a stupid thing to do, to have it locked up, you know, just locked away. Shall no, we? No, 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 We are not, not taking it out. OK, look at me. We're taking this out tonight. So we thought it was our job to see if we could... Get some girls. ...connect with our demographic. I've given him strict instructions. Don't overload the circuitry. Don't, Don't get, get it wet. It. Don't feed it after midnight. <laughs> get it, Ollie. The initial reactions to our little gizmo here were, uh, <laughs> were, were encouraging. That's when I saw the most beautiful girl. Target audience. I uh, couldn't wait to show her the 1024 <laughs> LED screen really in full action. Hey, look, it's you! What? She gave us an address. It would have been rude not to go. It was a party. <laughs> it was kind of an art thing. Not really my kind of thing, art. So I decided to help Fourth. and encourage Ollie to get hooked up himself. And you know what? It worked. The subject seemed keen to get to know the man behind the technology, but Sonny had picked that precise moment to test another function. <laughs> she was all over me, like All over you, mate. No, no, really no I don't agree with you. It's quite... Oh, give it to me. No, it's, it's sad. <clears throat> so we moved on to a more controlled environment, somewhere where T-shirt OS could really shine. Something's got a hold of my heart. Keeping my soul and my spirit apart. Hi! A t shirt came out! Nonetheless, the t shirt was proving to be sporty. Highly, highly desirable. So we sought refuge in an all night tanning salon. <laughs> yeah, we tried to ride out the trouble. Are you ready? But the trouble found us anyway. Wax. I hid in the wrong room and. Wax. 
t-shirt was ruined, along with our careers, and lost the girl of our dreams, and I lost a low of skin. But it wasn't over yet. Hey! Our luck had run out. Give me that shirt! But then bang! I can see a light. Ollie, stay away from the light. But then a vision. Nan? She's come back for me. She's come back for me. She's come back for the T-shirt. 24 LED screen, integrated camera, Bluetooth capable. My washable, wearable, audible life's work. I love it. Two questions. When can you make some more? And secondly, how did he get back here? We had lots of fun doing this. I think it was like, sort of like we, you, we usually don't pack things with features so much. We try to do something very sleek and very light. But this one, we just had lots of fun trying to see what it could do. And uh, I think for us, one of the most interesting things was that actually it has a built-in camera. So you can take photos and just display them right away or just upload the photos through your phones, through your social networks. So I think that it was very interesting that it's not just a garment that works on its own, but has this social media aspect to it that I think it just allows you to connect to people and just share information or just, just share some jokes with your friends, even if they're far away. Um, oh. This is the garment I'm wearing today, and uh, it's a super twinkle. It's a strange word that we invented. It's a mix between twinkle and sparkle, so it's twirkle. It's horrible to, <laughs> to say, and it's kind of hard to write, but sort of people are catching on to this, so I just keep calling it like that. And basically, the thing that this does is sort of like is the grandchild of the big galaxy dress that is in the museum in Chicago, and uh, then the um, uh, dresses that have like movement sensors that we showed earlier. And basically, it's a dress that reacts to your movement. So if I'm perfectly still, it's not doing anything, but if I start oops, jumping around, it starts lighting up, and the more I jump, the more it lights up. So it's sort of like really calculating how much I'm moving, and then the more I move, the more it lights up and changes color. And the thing that was really interesting is that it's a very, very simple product, but we did two years of wash tests for this because we really wanted to make sure that you could just throw it in the washing machine and it would come out alive. And so this is what you can do with these garments. These are the garments that we are selling in the Red to Wear collection. And basically, you just take it off, remove the battery, put it in the washing machine, and it comes out, you hang it to dry, and it still works. You wash it at 30 degrees with the delicate wash, use your usual conditioner. Uh, <laughs> So it's like, it was like very interesting because it's sort of like it looks really, really simple, but then you just spend two years of your life just doing work on this every single day to make sure that it's really thin, it's really washable, and there's no wires inside. You can touch me later <laughs> to see. And this one is a dress that maybe you also see. And uh, this is a dress we did for the launch of um, the EE network, uh, the 4G network. And basically, they asked us, what could you do if this network is really quick? And uh, what could you have that can be connected to the network and just share the news with the people around you? And uh, so we designed this dress for Nicole Scherzinger. And uh, you can see what this dress does from Nicole's words. I think it's gonna go. Again. Yes. I'm wearing the first couture Twitter dress by Cute Circuit. 
And it's crazy! Nicole Scherzinger making Twitter fashion history after wearing a crystal encrusted digital dress which lights up to spell out tweets sent by fans. It's a dress that they designed specifically for me and um, I have all these LED packs and lights hidden on my body and then all these gorgeous lights are coming down. The singer unveiled the creation at the star-studded launch of 4G at Battersea Power Station. So sick of it. And Shirzy wasn't the only one lit up. The venue also hosted an impressive light show to celebrate the launch of the new network. So we were like chatting with Nicole and say, so what would you like to have? And basically the thing is that she has a really great relationship with all her fans. And she said, well, it would be great if they could be on the red carpet with me. And of course you cannot bring like thousands and thousands of people on the red carpet with the mess. So we say, well, you can have like their tweets. And basically it was really fun because some of the fans that were there were actually taking photos with her continuously because they were waiting for their tweet to show up. And so they could have their name on her dress. So it's a really nice way of bringing people far away closer to you and sharing the experience and oh and here we have another video of the same dress so you can also see it walking and Nicole wasn't plugged into the wall either And the last video, that was from the Science Museum here in London. And basically, we presented the dress to celebrate um, the birthday of the text message. So it was very interesting because it sort of had a tie-in with like a new phone network, but also celebrating an invention that basically revolutionized our lives because we are texting all the time to all our friends. And one thing that we did after we were done with this project that we've been working on since the beginning of this year, and uh, we just finished uh, the past six months, uh, is a series of dresses that we developed for Magnum, the ice cream brand. And we are their brand ambassadors. So we go around and we say, ice cream is awesome, you should eat it. And uh, it wasn't too hard for me because I basically grew up in Italy and I've been eating this ice cream forever, like probably for 20 years. So like, yeah, I'm sold on it, you don't even have to pay me. But I'm very glad to do the dresses. And the thing that is amazing about these dresses is that they correspond to the launch of Haute Couture ice cream flavors that are pink and black. So we did these dresses that can show the two sides of your personality, changing from pink is more sensuous and charming to black, in which are more sharp and mysterious. And the thing that's really cool is that we design dresses that work with an iPhone app. And this is one of the dresses here. And there are more than 10,000 LEDs on the dress. It's all over front and back. And uh, you can like either control the color of your dresses with the iPhone app and just select which color you like the most or you can turn on network updates and all your friends and people far away can be voting via Twitter and they can be voting like I would love this dress in pink or I would love this dress in black and the dress after every 20 seconds would change color. So I show you a few videos of these dresses, we're really happy how they turned out. Um, oh yes, this one is one of my favorite. We did four of these dresses and then we did a whole 15 pieces collection. So I'll show you this one, it is like the second dress we made.
And here, what it was like really, really fun and interesting for us was that we went from creating sort of like coded animations that ran into the garments to creating videos. So we can just create any kind of video we want in any color we want. It doesn't just make pink and black. It just makes all the colors, right? And basically, we just create all these videos, and then we load them on a micro SD card into the garment. And then you can just have animations and videos that are as long as you like, and then just play them continuously. So it's like a totally different like approach from like to fashion design and textile design that I had like years ago when I first started designing because I, I really went from like just designing in Illustrator and in Photoshop to finally having the tool that allows me to create something that is different every day. And I really like this idea that is always changing, that is always in motion and in transition. So it's sort of like, it's very kind of interesting because in the fashion industry, people always want you to buy fast, 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 lots of garments and then discard them really fast as well. But actually in this way, you're gonna have one garment that looks like 20 different ones. And uh, I think it's sort of like a, kind of a slight contradiction coming from someone that is into fashion. But I really like the idea that we're going towards the future and we're also saving our resources. So. How we are making this happen is that we can also have garments that just change with our mood and change with our daily style, but it's still like the same kind, of, the same fibers in it. And the thing that is also interesting for us is that we try to do this in a very sustainable way. So all the textiles that we are using in the garments, they are Ecotex certified, so there's no pesticides in it. They've been tested, and uh, they are also RHS compliant, which means that there's no cadmium, no mercury, and no lead inside. And in fact, some of the circuits that we have are gold plated so it's almost like if you're wearing a piece of jewelry on your body and then it does something really stunning and amazing and i show you i think one last video so i'm almost done i got like three minutes to go and so i show you one last video that is like the big fashion show we did in Istanbul to celebrate the whole pink and black collection. And uh, this is like one of my favorite shows because we finally had time after having developed for many, many years all these technologies and trying to make them modular and washable. We finally had the time to just focus on the design and just come up with many amazing garments. So I was like really, really excited with it. Yeah, th this one was great because basically all the people in Istanbul all voted at the same time and after they were done voting they chose pink and the old city lit up pink at the same time with the dress. So it was really, really awesome. And so that's all for today. Uh, thank you so much for having me here today and for listening. And uh, let me know if you have any questions. Thank you. I'm going to try to come here so I can actually see you. <laughs> <laughs>